Hare Krishna. We are always full of thoughts, but we aren't always thoughtful. Thoughts are something which are constantly going on within us. Even if somebody says, I want to stop all thought. Actually, to think that I want to stop all thought is also a th thought. So, the, even to think that I want to stop all thought, we are thinking already. So, we can never be free from thought. In fact, what to speak of being free from thought, we are always filled with thought. So, we are full of thought, we could say. But that doesn't mean we are thoughtful. What is the difference? Now, suppose there is a room which is, which is just filled with a huge mess. You know, 100 people have put all their stuff over there, just thrown in whatever stuff they don't want. And it's a complete disorganized mess. That is a full room. And suppose we go to a library which is filled with books. And in fact, to go in between two rows, we have to squeeze in to go. Now that library is also full. But there's a huge difference between, say, the warehouse that is full with stuff thrown randomly and a library which is full with books organized systematically. So our inner world is often like that warehouse or that junkyard, which is like a junkyard. All kinds of thoughts are scattered here and there and they just keep moving also. This thought comes, that thought goes and we can't do anything constructively when we are simply filled with thoughts. But when we are thoughtful, that means our thoughts are organized. That we understand, okay, this thought is important. Let me focus on this. This thought is not that important. I can think about it later. This thought is unwanted. I don't want, I don't need to do anything about it. And we have the intelligence by which we can analyze and categorize our thoughts. So Arjuna at the beginning of the Bhagavad Gita was full of thoughts. What, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if that happens? And all that being full of thoughts actually made him lose all energy. And he put aside his bow, saying, I can't fight. Visrujjasasharam chapam shokasam vignam anasaha. So, oh, by hearing the Bhagavad Gita, his inner world became organized. And by the end of the Bhagavad Gita, he became thoughtful. His thoughts became organized. Okay, this is the situation. This is my mission. How can I act in this mission? And thus, he concluded the end of the Gita in 18.73. He said that, Karishye vachanam tava I will do your will. Nashto moha smuti labdha tat prasadhan maya chuta sito smigata sandeha Karishye vachanam tava and by your mercy, my doubt and delusion is destroyed. My memory is restored. My composure has come back. And now I will do your will. So our thoughts are our energy. But they are all scattered here and there. But when we study the Bhagavad Gita and we purify ourselves with its knowledge, then that thought energy becomes available for us for, to use constructively. So the Bhagavad Gita, just as it transformed Arjuna, it can transform each one of us from being full of thoughts to becoming thoughtful. And when we are thoughtful, we will become purposeful and eventually we will become joyful. Thank you. Hare Krishna.